Alrighty, I fixed my audio issues. <laughs> Always great. But we're back again with Class of 09. So let's see what we have on our phone. Nothing. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> Should start making saves, but uh, we'll go ahead and start a new game because we got one more beginning route we can start going down. Let's jump right in. And skip yes. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. I'm sorry, I'll keep playing. Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> Uh, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual All right, assault. Nicole. Let's get to <laughs> yeah, this. Out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for mm. that? If we did decline and we did <laughs> tell him to fuck off. So we'll humor him this time. Yeah, so then my friend got the DLC, this downloadable content. It's like $10. Like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know, uh, what, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? <laughs> I'd rather play dead at a necrophilia convention. Yo, let's um, go. Well, yeah, you know. I know what? Did, did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Oh my god, this myth. Yeah. From you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. Ha, nice rolly backpack, you fucking four-eyed double dick sucking Jeff, bitch. Jeff hey, stop Jeff kicking Jeff it. This backpack holds priceless reading materials. Oh, yeah? Like what? The like Bernstein Bears make eye contact? Hey, what is this, fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or Asian. something? <laughs> Japanese, thank you. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Uh, oh, you gotta be ahead of all spoilers, Dude, how man. How do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay out of this, you... You girl. Bruh. Oh, you know what? Nah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be full Nicole real quick. Double down. What the fuck, you greasy bitch? I was trying to help you. I don't need help from someone who misnationalizes my Japanese manga books. Japanese manga books? That's literally you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, first time you talk to a girl and you correct her on the origin of your backwards picture books. They're not backwards. They just read right to left. No one cares. I care. And the YouTube anime community cares too. <laughs> Naru Party. Like, Naru Party 13. He's got 1,600 subscribers. Damn, Do I wish I had 1,600 subscribers. Why would you upload videos to YouTube? How oh, else she's do got you me. think videos get there? It's for watching TV shows. You don't fucking participate in it. What, am I going to go on YouTube and get digitally molested? No. It, uh... <laughs> Are you going to transform? Whatever. Everything's fine. My mom said the bullies go nowhere and smart kids like me become notable adults. The most notable thing you could do is killing yourself. Let's go, Nicole. <laughs> then your dad can cry in front of school assemblies this next to a amazing. black and white photo of you. What? No. Little bitch. <laughs> I'm straight. So, hey, you're like pretty cool. What's your name? Well, my last name's you. Most people just call me that. You? What is it, like Asian? That's hot. Yeah, Grandma had yellow fever. <laughs> cool, yeah. So what's your first name? Fuck. But I knew it, yeah, fuck. Oh, you look new. <laughs> the lunch line's on the other end there. Huh? You're trying to find where the lunch line starts, right? You got here a little late, so it's pretty long now. Oh, fuck. For a sec, I thought everyone else was skipping, too. Where'd you come in from? Like, just outside? There was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird how? I don't fucking know. Is he like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or like, how can he afford so much Adderall with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut. That's Hell Jeffrey. Yeah. I don't Fuck think Jeffrey. he's all there. Like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different <laughs> lunch period. 
What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? That's like on your birth certificate? Short for Jessica, Avi. That's pretty punk for someone who dresses so... Preppy? Yeah, my mom works corporate for department stores, so I get all this expensive God. stuff for this free, but trust me, I don't give a fuck. Cool, yeah, same. Yeah, we don't Nicole, give no fucks. You ready for day oh, two? Oh, damn, day two already. Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like waking up in jail. Oh, wait, that's right. I gotta skip all this. Uh, let's just go to gym class. But we will participate Look, this time. Day. Wait, no, we'll Fun sit out guys, this time. No comedians, no bringers of the heart. I'm young. Nicole. You this is no good. Now everybody better dress out every class. Uh, if you don't, it's a zero. It sucks. I'm sitting in out. I'll see you back here in Fuck gym class. So, gym class. Showing oh, I'm paired up with Jeffrey. System is pure evil. Why do you talk like a cartoon? <laughs> what do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, "What's up, Doc?" No, it's just this general, "Ha ha, I'm random." Cartoon channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? Yeah, have you ever watched like the porn? glorious thing no, that is? Normal. Never Family mind. Guy huh. I like and some South Park. Wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. Bro, what? You know what? I'm going to make a save. One of my own saves. Can I rename it? No, I can't. Uh, You know what? We're already doubling down on Jeffrey, so. Who cares? Just stop. We're gonna double down. You're a nerd. You're not too smart socially, huh? Hey, I'm just trying to have fun here. And I'm not a nerd. I'm a geek. There's a difference. Sorry, which one grows up to be a rapist? <laughs> and which one grows up to be a pedophile? Ugh, you and everyone else at this school. I'm Holy shit. being the butt of everyone's jokes. Dude, whatever. Oh, he's with the shit of the school. Oh, no. Behind my back, fake love notes beating me up. Okay, really didn't need your life story here. Stealing my stuff, egging my house, blackmailing me, calling my mom at work and telling her I'm dead. They go that hard here? And hanging me from the bleachers with a rope weak enough to snap right before I choke Jesus. to death. I'm Jeffrey, you need to get out of here. And I guess you ought to be on that list too, huh? I knew they were going to throw in this school shooter joke real quick. Um, let's let his bully take over. Hey, what are you cripples doing? Finding new things to cut yourselves with? <laughs> uh, well, actually, this weirdo is just hitting on me. Can you believe it? Wow, Jeff, didn't know you liked girls. Who is this Jeff you speak of? The name's Jeffrey, thank you. Yeah, see? More of that cartoon-sounding shit. He won't stop talking to you or something? Yeah, make yourself useful and kick his ass for me. Yo, You're sick him. to listen to, sure. Oh, please, no. Not in the face. My glasses are brand new. Can't we just read some manga instead? Hell no. Hey, how you doing? Uh, just coping. Coping with what? Just the power I have as a girl. Did you come here from the feminist seminar? <laughs> no, Jim. What happened? Like... Okay, I pretty much just got the lacrosse kid to beat the shit out of the anime kid. Jealous? I wanted to watch. Wasn't much of a fight, honestly. Oh, did he do the nerd fight thing where he just hugged onto him really tight? Yeah, fine with missing that. Dude, it's not even the fight. Just, like, how I got it to happen. I didn't promise a date or sex or Girl anything. power, let's go. The way you're processing this is kind of scary, to be honest. What? You never manipulated someone before? No, I technically do it all the time. I've just never verbalized it like that. Are we bad people? I don't know. I'm still just trying to process why he'd fist fight for someone he barely knows. Because you're pretty. Pretty what? Oh, you're just really pretty. But like that pretty? No way. If you're going to be one of those girls who fish for compliments 24-7, I'm going to find someone else to sit with. No, seriously. Like, what are they worked up over? You're cute, long flowing hair, and big Big boobs, boobs. excuse okay, me. I was fishing for compliments. Knew it. But seriously, like, why aren't we consciously using this to our advantage? Using being pretty? It's called stripping. Stripping's for women who never had the conversation we're having right now. Dumb bitches who are like, wow, everyone's so helpful. You really think he's nice because he's into me? <laughs> and that's like half my friends. Oh my God. What? No way. And then, and then, oh no, I'm 26 and ran out of guys hitting me up. Life is so unfair. Well, does anyone really run out of guys? Run out of good ones real quick. Nope. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> right out. Lot of good ones. Unveiled manipulation. How long are you running with it? Till graduation? Till death. Girl power. <laughs> months later. So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or socially? Is this time we Everything. didn't Anything. get the, Honestly, uh, whatchamacallit, it's going uh, pretty good. gym teacher oh, fired. That's great to hear. Nor did I we <laughs> join a white power hard. cult. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom... I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's okay, so emotions kind of the or same. Desire, excuse like okay there we go now we're in october and so you see the aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets did i really forget my eyeliner um <clears throat> did you really need that cough like that it's kind of annoying i know that i'll be done now nicole take another save real quick Cuz. I think we can kind of go down the last route we did. We'll just do the passive aggressive eye roll because I know I didn't do that last time. Okay, fine. Wonderful. As I was saying, you can't talk like that to her. Oh wait, did I do I that last talk time? Any Shit. Way I like Jessica. That's not my name. See, you don't respect any of the girls. A guy could just whip his dick out in here, and you just politely say that's enough. You're on. You're on your fourth white. I heard it was only three. Great. Yeah, I think I did do this last time. I feel yeah, like there I we go. See you two every week now. So we'll just do and all I, this. Yeah. Would e Nicole? Yes, Nicole. Do tell. So now this time we'll tend to be sorry. So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera? Exactly. Bitch, be happy anyone even took It's an art. What's up, you whores? Oh, wow. that's right. You shit. What do you on one condition? A condition you don't touch anyone who's sleeping. Uh, maybe, but you need a conversation starter if we're gonna justify bringing you. Like what? Do something impressive this week, like, like, like put something funny on YouTube. Yeah, actually, not a bad idea. Then everybody can watch it at the party. A video of what though? You know where photography is? At magazine studios, duh. No dipshit, the photography classroom? Yeah, what about it? The dark room has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Oh, uh, yeah, Make there we go. Make a video of you just destroying that shit. Oh, really? What do you think, Jacka? I think Mr. White's reaction would be funnier than the video itself, so go for it. Fine, you're on. So See now he'll get arrested. <laughs> yeah, making friends. It's amazing how men will do anything just to see us with less clothes on. Yeah, it's like there's laws for it or something. <laughs> Looking at you, guidance counselor. So, what are you wearing to Oh, speaking of, of guidance counselor. Well, summer's over, so no more selling anything. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the fall? Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe. I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out with that. Mm, no thanks. Sell bikinis? Uh, yeah, let's skip you, uh, a bikini? few things real quick. Bikini's what I sorry, but Google soft. No one steals shit. Oh, this is how we solve this one dress. without getting yeah, uh, arrested ourselves. Shit. It's too th you're going to be late. No shit. Nailed it. Just what I'm Now that we got a uh, Kylar or Wait, was whatever. That the wrong locker? So, I'm fucked. Totally fucked. Now or Kylar's going to do this for me. Three months? Yeah. Did he ask really slowly? Okay, let's just get through the first day of the rest of my ruined life. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened <laughs> in the photography <laughs> Suicidal room? pregnancies. Oh. Wait, you what? You know what? There's Relatable. There's a crowd up there. It's all in pieces. All these chemicals combined on the floor, too. It's basically mustard gas. There she is. Uh-oh, got a tip. What's going on? Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Jeffrey's oh my god, his fucking shirt. You're the one I'm with Pound. Uh, no. I was at home all night mulling over ways to kill myself. In my office. Now. Just want to make it clear one more time that he has no evidence of me doing this. Well, unfortunately, the breadcrumbs all lead to you. Trying to stop him from developing his picture of you, albeit unflattering, is not a reason to destroy thousands in school property. 
Did you completely glaze over the last 10 things I said? He took a picture in the girls' locker room. And I assure you, he'll be dealt with soon. But oh, but now Kyler's going to be with the on the video with revealing it. Attire. Destruction of property is not one of them. I was in the middle of changing? You could have been fully nude. It's still unreasonable. Wait, I didn't break anything. Fuck what I was wearing. Out of the 10 students we questioned, no one else had anything close to resembling a motive. We'll go ask 10 more. Hey, Miss Lynn, sorry. Just got to school. I'm signing in late again. In the middle of something here. Oh, with the student? Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. What video? Uh, you don't remember? If I posted a viral video, you'd like to go just say it right in what front of this? her. Get out. No, wait. It's only like a minute. See? Yeah. Yo, what's up? This is Kyler. Let's break this. <laughs> photo I love this. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck photography. It's for people who like animals. Oh, what? Nicole, leave my office. Kyler, could I have a word with you? Yeah, what's up? You're expelled. Hey, you know what? Did you see Kyler's video? We're still here, so. Oh, what? What's the deal with it? Here, watch it on my phone. <laughs> Crazy, right? Right, Nicole? Huh? Yeah. He did it. He really did it. Let's go, Kyler! Woo! The music of our year was pretty special when you think about it. Yeah, Soldier Boy wasn't a one-hit wonder. Who knew? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I wonder which of them is going to die first after high school. Hey, Nicole. I know we had our Oh, no. Oh, no. Sign my yearbook. Jeffrey, why are you just... Why are you dressed like that, Jeffrey? Um. Oh. Uh. I don't want to get shot, so. No. <laughs> what? No. And once again, I can't even We're begin to, get to shot, describe how proud we? I am of oh, each no. and every one of you. Representing your class with a speech, <laughs> your valedictorian. He's about to pull out the glick. The glock. Thank you, Principal Lin and the rest of the faculty, declaring me the valedictorian for class of 09. Schoolwork was always important to me during my tenure here. Gonna kick him off. Oh. <laughs> anyway, perhaps another Among Us could put it better. Among Us? Nicole? If that's okay. Nicole, say a few words. First, I'd like to thank our female authority figure, Miss Lynn, along with her cleavage for symbolizing how the men at this school have treated me here, like a sex object. <gasps> what are you doing? In my two years here, a good 20% of the staff has either asked me on a date or made some other form of sexual advance. I told their supervisors, and they told me to get my grades up. Damn. Are you out of your fucking mind? I sent my daughter here. What kind of school is this? I'm calling the news. Girl boss, oh, gatekeep. Oops. I was just dropping off my lost text. Gaslight. I got that wrong. <laughs> Awkward. I was on my way out, just packing. They make you clear the whole room at the end of every year. Uh, no. They make you clear the whole room out after you're fired. Whoops. Your apathy won't work on me, Nicole. You're not mad? No, actually. It's been a long time coming. Surprised it didn't happen sooner, to be honest. So you knew ignoring it would come back to bite you? When you fooled around with half your staff, they don't take you very seriously. I know I might seem old to you, but we're actually not too different. Using our looks to fuck around with people? That's right. Been doing it since I was your age. Though you really one upped me. Never let your gate emotions keep. trick you into thinking you yes, like, I got that wrong again. God damn it. Rare for a girl your age. How long for you to figure that out? I still haven't. In 39 years. 39 years old and I didn't report teachers for asking students out. Because I didn't want to look stuck up. Sometimes all it takes is one night with someone to feel the need to be loyal. Ew, uh, you fuck the counselor? <laughs> Among others. Well, I guess it only makes sense that men impulsive enough to fuck their boss would also try to fuck kids. 
I thought you hosted the Feminism Club. Politics are fashion. We pick it for a sense of belonging, not change. Most of us, anyway. Maybe one day, you'll start your own movement. Nicoleism, let's go. I already have. I thought about what Miss Lynn said for months into my first fully legal summer. The manipulation was still fun. What got harder was the escape plan. Now that I was 18, I couldn't just resort to calling older men pedophiles for dating me. I slowed down a bit. Maybe I should start a movement that makes my attitude more common. But it'd be a ton of work to promote. And that's when I learned the grand irony of being pretty. It destroys your dopamine levels. You don't want to do shit. Dudes just buy me drinks, give me things, everything. What incentive do I have to try? Is this why women make less? We don't feel like trying? Actually, I want a stat on the women who quit their small businesses. What percent of them are hot? Or what if their business does really well because they're hot? I guess my point is, if our culture is ran by looks, the stats should take looks into consideration. I promise I'll have a political <laughs> takeaway from my high school years. I just need the numbers. Watching your dad kill himself really fucks you up. Yeah, it would. I have a new message. Let's go. So it's the, they all run after. They all run off after getting their diplomas. As months go by, I slowly start to realize they didn't talk to me and laugh at everything I said because they liked me. They did it to pass the time while they felt trapped in, wall in walls of boredom. This was the real world as I knew, I now knew it. Not even admission offices humored me without any extracurricular clubs on my transcript. No one would ever let me in one. I have been working at a gas station to pass the time. Someone who laughed at me in school pulled up with the fancy car, trying to avoid eye contact as much as they could. Do they feel guilty? Or maybe they or maybe just past the point of looking for comic relief, I guess. 45 seconds at the pump is enough time for novelties like me. Hmm. Kinda rough. I uh know a lot of people like that. Enough of that. Let's go to uh, continue, and we will do... Hmm. What should we do? We'll do this one. Write something mean. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey. What a crazy four years, but just imagine the next ten. I'll be really surprised if I see what <laughs> the review in ten years. Not because your book smarts will lead you bigger and better things, but because you'll be in jail for dating a 15-year-old. once again... I can't oh, even no. begin to describe how proud I am of each and every one of you. Representing- <clears throat> Let's see, anything different? Ah, anyway. oh, it's nothing different. It's not notable enough. Uh, I guess? Let's do this one. So, see if we'll actually tell you about- What was it about? Porn or whatever? Try Let's see. Me. Huh? Most girls just scream and run when I say that. You're different. Uh-oh. 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 Well, are you going to tell me or not? Why do you want to know? Uh, everybody knows the coolest guys have depraved fetishes. Have you been on the internet? Maybe I'm looking for a boyfriend who can keep up with me. Uh, uh, all right. See me and watch <laughs> He's blushing. Maybe we could talk about it then. I'm so there. Awesome. Finally, someone to share my escapism with. Escapism? Yeah, I get lost in all these weird websites to get away from my gun nut stepdad. I think he was in Iraq or something. Doesn't matter anyway. I think mom's already looking for a new guy. A house full of depraved porn and firearms. Yep, what could, what could go, wrong? go wrong? What was that? Oh, just, I've wanted a chat like this for so long. <laughs> so you like him how much taller than you exactly? At least like 12 feet taller, preferably. 50. Oh my goodness, no. With only two of her fingers. And what do you call that again? It's a giantess fetish. A woman so tall she can't even see those minute details about me. Like how I can't tie my shoes. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone to see that either. This is cool, what else? Really? Uh, well, 
I like it when cute girls walk all over me. Oh no, Jeffrey, you ain't going anywhere in life. People hate when they're taken advantage of. No, I mean, literally walk all over me. Love to oh, be stepped no. on a cute pair of feet. Well, hey, it beats stepping on a scale, right? But yeah, unfortunately, most of my fetishes can only be realized through my anime. The realm of the living isn't quite ready for 50-foot-tall vixens. Yeah, the real world sucks hard, dude. Did I mention how I liked girls with cat ears? Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> do they meow when you have sex with them? Well, I wouldn't know. Haven't done one yet? I haven't done anyone before. No way. Shocker. Who have never been able to guess that. I wonder if the library has volume 31 yet. Hey there, Jeffrey. Things better with your dad yet? Oh, hello, Jekka. Unfortunately, no. He used my toothbrush to clean out his new assault rifle he bought from China. <gasps> How the VZ-58? Anyway, could you buy me another Diet Coke? Sorry, but I can't anymore. My mom's been wondering where all my lunch money's been going. Aw, you're mean. You don't like me anymore. Again, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Maybe I should grow 40 feet. Then you'd really like me. Hey, <laughs> how'd you... Okay, I think he's going to shoot up the school this time. Uh-oh, he's going to shoot up the school, I think. Oh, dude, I love her shirt. Maybe kill yourself. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> I think he is going to so shoot again, the school now. While I find oh, oh no, no. The boys need to quit writing bad bitch on my office door. I'll start tracking who left them if it continues. Well, it definitely wasn't Jeffrey. Oh? Fuck, you heard that? Why is it definitely not Jeffrey? Because you're not a cat. <laughs> Settle down now. I've heard the rumors going around about him, and you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Ah, oh, thank you. I was really... Just because he prefers alternative <laughs> forms of sexual intercourse does not mean he should be oh, ridiculed. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry, I'm a little out of the loop. What do you mean by alternative. Oh, God. Jeffrey here prefers to be stepped on by women who look like cats, as opposed to standard intercourse with a human woman. <laughs> Will this stop? Class dismissed. You're only gonna stop with one solution, Jeffrey. You did this. Did what? Told everyone my darkest secrets. <laughs> that was in confidence. Guess I did. Sorry. You ruined my life. I haven't touched my manga in forever. Not even cartoons entertain me anymore. Relatable. Do you even care? Do the results of your actions mean anything to you? Yeah, when they affect me, sure. No one in the realm of the living ever liked me anyway. Maybe things would make sense if I was dead. Maybe. I've had to start taking medication since you betrayed me. I also waited for everyone to leave just so you'd be the only one to hear this. Tonight when my mom's out with her new boyfriend, I'm gonna take the entire bottle. I'm going to kill myself. What? You chose to start this. But I won't give you a choice in stopping it. <laughs> Girl hormones make me feel guilty. <laughs> We're gonna make a save. All right there. Uh, I'm gonna call your bluff, Jeffrey. I don't think ye. <laughs> I don't think you have a trap card. I'm sorry. Did you think I have any form of emotional attachment to you? Why else would you have talked to me in the first place? Why would you have lunch with someone you don't like? It. It was funny. I knew you'd say some embarrassing shit. So you used me. You were a new student trying to look cool, so you just used me. No shit. In what world does a girl like me take interest in you? If you're that fucking stupid, maybe you should kill yourself. Fine. I'll give you your satisfaction. But not before getting mine first. Oh no, he's about to shoot me. I ever loved. 
Even if it wasn't real. You knew me for two days. Bye. I would have left a note, but there's only a two-second window between staring down the barrel of a gun and dying. I'm not even mad I'm dead. Through all the news coverage that'll cry about me for a week and him for a century, it might be best for both of us they rarely get the facts straight. They'll tell you I was a sweet, innocent girl who'd never turn an entire school against the anime kid. They'll also tell you he was a twisted mastermind who didn't want to fuck fictionally tall women. So yeah, he seems cooler than me now. <laughs> Try talking to him. I got shot. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to read Jeffrey's manifesto. I recall watching the news after VT happened last April. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nine. Jesus Christ. Between the rambles of gun troll, an NARA member walked, looked in the camera as if he was trying to talk to kids like me and para I'm paraphrasing. If you are a student and feel alone, threatened, frightened, or inferior, lashing out at the world with fatal violence like this is not the answer. I don't want to kill them because I'm lonely. They just need a wake up call. Most classes I sit alone. I am reading a manifesto. Uh, most classes I sit alone. No one speaks to me. Last week, a girl who gets plenty of attention for her looks was venting to the teacher about how she didn't fade in, mentioning she only knew her boyfriend and that's it. Isn't that great irony? I'm light years from getting anything close to a girlfriend. She sees no one talks to me yet, vents right in front of me about how little she has socially. I am not jealous. Just sick of the ignorance she and many others exhibit. Their cozy little world. I want to destroy it. I want to destroy and look them in the eye while I do it. I want them to remember me. Fucking nerd. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... Girl hormones make me feel guilty. I mean, you don't have to kill yourself over this, do you? In the realm of the living, I am nothing more than a punch. Although I'm pretty sure it's uh, the same thing. This is not the purpose I desired. Well, what is? I don't know. So if you die now, you'll never know. Don't try to talk me out of it. There's really no place for people like me. What are people like you like? I want 40 foot tall women with cat features to step on me. You really think that's the end of the world, though? What do you mean? So you want more than missionary. Big deal. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. It's still the end of my social life. Jeffrey, what social life? All you did was read anime books before. You're still reading anime books now. Did you stop jerking off to porn of comically tall women? No. So what's the problem? Seems like everything's going according to plan. You know, you're right. The only stop thing that's it? different is everyone knows now. Who cares? Yeah, before they just assumed it. Gosh, thanks, Nicole. You're a really good friend. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that last word? Maybe I'll see you in lunch tomorrow. Company always keeps the suicidal thoughts away. See ya. Yo, let's go. This is what empathy gets you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Nicole, I'm trying to make a depression playlist on iTunes. What is it? Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately. People, Mom. You're being nice, right? Trying to get along? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's my problem. Never putting up a fight. Never telling men I'm not their emotional wheelchair. Well, sweetie, I'm not sure if being confrontational is the key to happiness. You're a beautiful girl. Don't have an ugly personality towards anyone. So, I should, like, spread myself thin so anyone can have a place in my life? Don't put it so negatively. All I'm saying is, be inclusive. Give people a chance. Fuck people. What if they're bad people? That too. I don't believe in anyone being inherently bad. Uh, yeah, I guess the pedophiles trying to abduct me on MySpace are just misunderstood. Jesus. Always a negative spin. Just promise you'll try. Try to be nice and make time for people. The connections you start early come in handy later on. Don't screw up here. Ugh, fine. Thank you. I promise it'll pay off. I'll be your enabling little princess. Uh, 
I oh, guess we do have a new, uh, an entirely new route. Oh, what? Exhausting. <laughs> I thought everyone would just okay, forget right, about the hangout right promises I made over the winter. The thing where you tell them you're really busy for midterms, but should have time in the spring. Yeah, I thought most of them would just forget. Not when you're hot. They never forget when you're hot. I'm hot? You fish for compliments? Whatever, yeah. So not a single free day to myself. Having to meet dipshits X, Y, and Z at the mall, or the park, or the diner. What kind of Mormon-ass bitch meets at a diner? They all blend together, couldn't tell ya. Worst part is, I'm at this point where I'm too nice to even decline the follow-up hangouts. Hey, let's do this again. Maybe next week, same time. Yeah, so now it's the bullshit I put up with on break combined with the bullshit I put up with at school. Really makes you question the whole point of niceness. Being nice just traps you into these hostage friendships. Socializing honestly kind of sucks now. You're starting Yo, to sound go. like that weird kid, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey's one of my hangouts. <laughs> oh my god, you're that far in? That's like church girl nice. Tell him to fuck off. I can't. I feel like I'm at a point of no return. If I try to escape now, he'll just stalk me. He's so cynical. He'll probably kill just you. murder you. Dying would <laughs> yeah, be awesome exactly. right now, but I feel like there'd be strings attached with him. You're dead. What could he possibly do? Your body doesn't disappear when you die, so whatever his twisted little anime brain wants. Ew, okay. But if he actually killed you, could I take your body to a taxidermist? <laughs> yes. Good to know. Yeah, Have at least, at least she's uh, that chill with it. Ugh. What the fuck is Jeffrey about to make me do? He better not so be coming. Okay. Place, huh? That's the third time you said that. Sorry, yeah, today's just been wild. Crazy. That's the fourth time you said that. Oh, uh, pretty sweet your mom's out of town. You could throw a whole party, right? If I liked people enough to let them destroy my house, then yeah, absolutely. Aw, oh, man, don't be a downer. You kind of remind me of this one girl from a local punk band around here. She kind of gets standoffish, too. I'm standoffish? No, no, not like it's a bad thing, just more like the band makes her image that. I, I think they were called, uh... This dude's gonna say something like Paramore. Right <laughs> Has it really only been 20 minutes? Hey, I, I just wanted to let you know, you're actually really pretty. I know. Pretty and like, pretty cool too? Your taste in music, it's like, it's like nothing I've ever heard before. You really know your stuff. No, I don't. I had Sean Kingston on for the last hour. <laughs> Humble too? Like, you're different. I'm not having sex with you. Whoa, what are you talking about? Fucking you was like the last thing on my mind. Unless you'd want to. You've worn the same Volcom socks for like two weeks. Oh God. So that's a no? It's cool if it is. That's nasty. <laughs> We're at Dave and Buster's, let's yeah, go. It might seem crowded now, but you should see this place on Friday. What? I said you should see this place on Friday. Okay. You see me at the hoops machine? I'm sick. You couldn't keep up. Yeah, I really should have taken it more seriously. I'm 17 after all. And the skee ball machine? Don't take it too hard. I make everyone look trash at it. All of this behavior is telling. Yeah, telling pussy ass bitches to suck my dick. I think I should start making rap songs. My dad is a MacBook. <laughs> a good old garage band beat. All the diner, let's go. But yeah, season oh, four. Oh, no, Jeffrey. Not really for me personally. How about you? Sorry, season four of what now? The Doki Daisuke anime? You've been paying attention, right? To the first three seasons? Or are you talking for the last 20 minutes? Actually, it's the same answer for both. Yeah, I know. What were the writers thinking? I'm actually involved with an online group, and we're going to reanimate season four the way the fans wanted it. Like a whole cartoon? Yeah, you want to join? We could use all the help we could get. I guess. Animation takes a lot of time, right? At least you weird kids put your time towards something. Oh, well, actually, we haven't found an animator yet. Yeah, but one of our friend's cousins so, might do it so after many, he graduates from media like, school. Like, dream projects happen in school. Yeah, just for the love of the show. Oh, okay, I'm not joining then. Huh? Why not? There's no difference whether I join or not join, because this will never be made. Yep. Well, if you feel that way. Do you know why it's so hard to find animators? I don't know why the fuck I'm here. I even had to pay for my own shitty cheeseburger. I'm gonna start telling men I'm vegan so they stop trying to take me places. But yeah, Kelly's a fucking whore and I hope she dies. End of discussion. I'm Nicole not looks exhausted. How about you, Nicole? 
Nicole? Yep. Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm exhausted somehow. You've been tuning out all lunch. She's been down the being nice rabbit hole since spring break. Poor new kid. It's like you know they want to fuck, but they won't just ask so you can reject them and put an end to the friendship. How'd you even let it get to the point of a friendship anyway? Because I'm a fucking pushover, okay? Thank you for reminding me. Oh, now don't be a bitch about it. Let's just enjoy our cancerous meatloaf in peace. Fine, sorry. Oh, Nicole, what's up? You still on for tonight? Fucking Crispin! What about me? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think so. Cool. The concert's <laughs> gonna be sick with you there. Shit, that concert was tonight? You are exhausted. Who's playing? Literal nobodies, just cover bands. Why would you agree to that? She's in too deep to say no. Yeah, someone told me they saw you at a place with that weird Japan kid. Wow, you actually went through with that. You need to have some kind of limit. How can I rank who and who not to hang out with when they're all equally shitty to me? Are you suicidal? Oh my god, don't just ask that. Seriously, though? Yes, very. Yeah, yeah let's go, suicidal Same. queen. But you're not just suicidal. You're, like, depressed, too. Maybe you should just blow off that concert. But then I won't hear the end of it. Can't please everybody. Well, if you're suicidal, just go home and kill yourself. Then he's the asshole. <laughs> True, yeah. Go <laughs> stay home and kill yourself. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> We're killing ourselves. Right now. Okay, that's off. Mom shouldn't be back from her date for another four hours, so that's plenty of time. Are you kidding me? I just want to slice my wrist dramatically, and this is killing the whole vibe. Whatever, I want to die. It doesn't matter how. <laughs> Nicole! I forgot my wallet. Just getting it. Oh my god, Nicole! Uh huh? What? What did you do to yourself? Can I just die in peace? Where's the cordless? I'm calling an ambulance. It'll be okay, sweetie. Yeah, it'd be a lot better if you just fucking <laughs> left. Leave Hello? me to die in peace, yes. you stupid bitch. My daughter attempted suicide. There's blood everywhere. Please send someone. What's it like to be happy? Like happy, happy. Sure, I can have fun, think something's cool, have a good time. None of that outweighs wanting to die. Mom had me locked up in a mental ward until my 18th birthday, so I learned what crazy pills actually do to you. They don't make anyone happier. Just more content with limbo. What sucks worse than killing yourself is fucking up killing yourself. You don't get to be a black and white headshot for eternity. You're just really awkward to hang out with. Oof. I, uh, felt that one. <laughs> For, uh, both angles. Anyways. Fuck you. <laughs> I have to hear about you, and you aren't even dead. Hmm. Interesting. Let's, uh, let's go to the concert now. And that was our last song of the set. <laughs> Guy with a drug problem. Dark. True. Up next. So you having fun? I'm actually having an aneurysm. Uh, you? Mr. Colby, what are you doing here? I work here. Oh, I guess you had to find a new job after the school board fired you. What are you talking about? Fired? I left, moved on to bigger and better things. No, I'm pretty positive you got fired after groping me and seven other girls. Yeah, I'm a player, don't remind me. Jesus. So you and me get out of here? I want to show you my new ride. You know, I'd love to chill in the back seat with a registered sex offender, but I might miss the next shitty van, so... Come on, Nicole. None of these high school boys are at this level. I actually prefer 25 seconds of intercourse. Just shut up and get in my car. No! Fine! You think I don't have any pull now that I'm not your gym teacher, but think again! My players love me, and they all keep in touch. Are you threatening me? I didn't do anything. Yet. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Wait, you're gonna miss three more cover bands! What the fuck, man? 
It'd be a protective order. Hey, how was the concert last weekend? What is expected? Makes sense. So hey, you want to skip fourth period and buy cigarettes off that weird guy that hangs out in front of our school? I would, but I've just lost the will to do anything. And fourth period's one of my sleeping classes. Come on, I can't go alone. We skip all the time together. What if he kidnaps me? What am I gonna do? Use my tiny arms to rip you from his grasp? This is bullshit. What? You blow all your time on these idiots you don't even like, and now you can't even hang when it's someone you do like? I know, but like, I'm too far in. It's gonna be a nightmare if I tell everyone to fuck off now. You have a choice to make. It's either me or your hostage friendships. End of discussion. Fuck. Well, now I gotta think if I love you more than I hate being stalked. If you don't have an answer by fourth period, I'll have one for you. See ya, Nicole. God, I wish I was a lesbian. You fucking whore! No, a lesbian. Didn't I go to an arcade with you? Why are you mad? It's a barcade? You know why. Everyone in lacrosse is talking about it. I... I don't get it. Is this for YouTube or something? You fucked the whole football team! <gasps> no, Bro, I didn't. what? Wait, even if I did, why do you care? We weren't even together. Fuck off. All those times I took you out, and you had the nerve to have sex with everyone but me! Yeah, me too! If I knew you were easy, I would have tried more when I took you out. I'm done with you. From now on, I'm gonna make your life a living hell! My cousin's gonna hack your MySpace when I tell him you use me. What the fuck is this? You all insisted that I hung out with you, not the other way around. Then why'd you keep doing it if you didn't want to date, huh? You kept offering. I was trying to be nice. Yeah, I kept offering to lube up the prude, but looks like you were a manipulative <laughs> slut the whole fucking time! A grown man actually started a rumor about me. Somebody steal her backpack! Yeah, we gotta get our money back somehow! And then fuck anyone! Oh, this is... <laughs> we are not running to the counselor's office. Uh... Let's... Uh, uh... Let's go for the worst ending, I guess, first. He's just gonna groom me. Oh, you're actually here. Good, I need some help. Nicole, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah, um, you're like student relations, right? You can talk to kids and get them to calm down? To an extent, what's the matter? Well, see, all these guys I hung out with before, who took the hanging out as dating, yeah, so they all suddenly want to kill me because I won't have sex with them. Kill is a rather strong word, don't you think? Would you say they're more upset? Why does this matter? Let's try a different angle. Why are they suddenly all expecting this sex at the same time? I'd rather not get into it. Long because story, we were nice really to them and we couldn't say no, I don't want to hang out. What I'll say is when people find themselves in situations where it's ten on one, it'd be a tad irrational to immediately rule out the conflict being your fault. No, I get that. But the gym teacher, he was at this concert and now, like... Now hold on. So why are they upset with you again? Because I didn't have sex with them. So sexual frustration. Natural for all boys of their age. But what provokes that? Hormones? Teasing. Are we being a tease? <laughs> oh my god. And you're actually employed here? Don't deflect. You're usually so... sharing. How am I sharing? For instance, how you shared your body with the varsity football team. No. Oh, now, don't be ashamed. You should be proud of your spontaneity. In fact, I think I'll take you out on a personal field trip. I'd love to explore this curious side of you. Go fuck yourself! I'm seeing the principal. Might not be the best use of your time. Principal Lin knows, too. We all do. The faculty can't hang themselves over protecting one amorous girl now, can they? I can. Oh, I'm gonna still kill myself. People are books, puzzles, and pawns. In that order. First they're read, then they're figured out, then they're persuaded. Some would call that wrongly manipulative, but what's the alternative? Basically any advice my mom's ever given me? Don't be mean, don't judge, be open. And yeah, sure, but that only works when men don't want to have sex with you. Be tolerant of guys who get off by choking you. No way that goes south. What's wrong with a pizza delivery boy with no career goals? 
When's the last time you asked your pizza man if he's a rapist? They're called warning signs, but ignoring them makes you a nice person. And one day, if you're a nice enough girl, you'll end up just like me. And just like my dad. If you're reading this, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, I just accidentally fucking... How, how, do, how do I do this? How do I do this? I accidentally... There we go. I accidentally made it windowed while I was taking a screenshot. <laughs> hey, from Jekka. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. Guess we'll see what running home to mom does. You need a prescription for Vicodin? This is hardly a buzz. It's <laughs> okay. Yes, Druggy. Hello? Oh, hey you. Oh no, what is it? Are you serious? I guess I'll have a word, yeah. Mom, we gotta talk! Shh! Yeah, of course. My daughter just walked in. Okay, see you soon. Bye, sexy. I was just on the phone with your school. What? Who what? at my school are you calling sexy? Your principal. Why are you oh, wait, oh, what? school? Mom, you don't understand. Like, ten guys were about to jump me over a rumor. I had to split out of there. I don't care if it was twenty guys. They're considering expulsion for all the times you skipped. I told you not to screw up here. Mom, I can't help it if the pedophile gym teacher is trying to sabotage me. This is the first I've heard of any gym teacher. I told you about it three times. You would have remembered if you weren't always fucked up on Vicodin. That's it. That's it. You're going back to that school whether you like it or not. If they expel you from there, you're expelled from this home. Fuck this, I'm done. Good. Lock yourself in your room. It'll be the last time you're seeing it. You got that right. <laughs> Still gonna kill myself. <sighs> People are books, Paul. Yeah, it's the same thing. In that order. First they're read. Shut up, Nicole, then please. Out. Then they're persuaded. Nicole, Some please. Call that wrongly manipulative. But what's the alternative? Here, we'll go to this one. He can't tell you what to do. Now nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. <laughs> How dare you! How dare you disrupt my lecture? It's disrespectful to me and your classmates. You can't trick anyone here into being mad at me when no one gives a shit about your class. Well, how would you like a failing grade? How would all of you like a failing grade? I mean, I guess it's fine. It's an elective. Yeah, Mr. White, you can't keep us from graduating. You tell him, Nicole. Shut the fuck up, you finger skateboard bitch. <laughs> Dude, I was just trying to help. <laughs> yeah, you were trying something. <laughs> How would you like a visit to the counselor's office? The principal's office? Hey, if you think not listening to you talk is discipline, then I'm gone. No problem. <laughs> Out. No. <laughs> Again, Nicole. Can we just pretend you said a lot of stuff so I can leave early? The principal ordered for you to be in this room for one hour. Well, I order no mail, oh, like no. Me, but you still see them slapping the shit on. And what do you mean by that? How are you feeling? I'm saying if a whole company like them can't get my order right, then what's one guy like you? Mistakes happen. They can try again after the next soccer practice. I think we got a bit sidetracked here. No, not just sidetracked. I fucking derailed this shit. Talking out of turn in class, bullying classmates, talking back to faculty. Is this really the legacy you want to leave? Oh yeah. Another save point. So we will save right there. Uh, it's high school. Who gives a shit? I'm sorry, legacy? Yes, your mark, your impact left on the student body. Graduation's only a few months away, you know. See, I'm glad you brought that up. I will literally never see any of these people again after graduation. There's no point in socially trying with anyone here. We must have someone you'd like to stay in touch with after graduation. Nope. Not even your friend Jessica? Jessica's like, okay, but I'm not going out of my way to hang out with her. Isn't legacy for like a major career or something? Your high school career. Oh, is this a career now? What's my salary? A $2 lunch and 20 years of sexual harassment trauma? 
Such pessimism at such a young age. When you're an adult, you learn. And you gotta pay for that lunch. Fuck life. that. Oh, I'm sure there's tons of life to love. None of it having anything to do with this high school. Why would I care what some kid sitting two rows back from me thinks? It's not about right now. It's the tons of fun memories you can revel in years after college. Okay, um, I know you work here and employee culture keeps your checks signed, but anyone well into their 20s still thinking about how high school was is a fucking waste of space. Perhaps I should introduce you to some of our class of 87 alumni. Many of them are teachers here today. So they're the lower middle class of 87? No thanks. So fuck photography. Yeah. Pretty oh, much. we're buried back here. Mr. White okay. acts like his class <laughs> is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even exact bitch? Be it's a you shit. Yeah. Change a lot or no? Nicole, I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? This is a little different, so we'll see if uh, see if it makes any real difference. Um, we'll tell him to break the camp cameras or the photography uh, dark room. And now we gotta skip through all this. All right, let's go. I already have. All right, so that was the same for the most part. So we'll go back to uh. I didn't make any saves on the other two routes, where I tell him to fuck off, or I go ahead and uh. To humor the conversation or something, something like that. I'll put those in a new video because this one's already about an hour long, so we'll do that. Class of 09, part two, done. Woohoo, like and subscribe. Don't smash that like button because I know only like two of y'all will. <laughs> but I'll see you on the next, uh, next run of next runs of uh, class of nine because we've only got. I ah, only got four more this time. Still got nine more. I don't want to look up a guide because I've already avoided spoilers for this long. So we'll be back with another run. <laughs> I'll catch you on the flip side.